Hey, a pleasant good Sunday, everybody. This is Sports for Nine News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick reaction to the Reading Royals shutting out the Norfolk Admirals four to nothing, led by Pat Nagel having a fantastic game yet again. But also, the Royals just really supplying the pressure really well, being the much more physical team, a much more brute team throughout the game that then got them the win. Like Coach Kirk McDonald said in the post game, <clears throat> I was at the Cheers Bar across the street. They got shots on that, and they had more shots than Norfolk Admirals, but the Reading Royals did limit their key high percentage chances, and a lot of those shots were slap shots from the outside, and everything that a very calm, cool, collective, one of the best in the league, Pat Nagel, as long as you let the guy see the puck, he's going to make the save 99% of the time, especially with how hot he's been this year. So, the Royals definitely out physical out physical to them. They definitely were a very brute force in this game. They played very good along the boards, and they, again, like they did Friday, especially during that second period, for more of the longevity of this game, and not just for a period length, really forced turnovers and grew and built from Friday's game, and really implemented a even potentially stronger game plan, because they just had no answer, really. <clears throat> the Admirals minus and one play where Dechara comes down and picks his spot. Well, they almost scored shorthanded on the other end. And then Frank comes down and picks his spot really well. Uh, other than that, they had really maybe a handful of other high percentage chances in front of the net and what have you. And whenever they did, Pat Nagel came up huge. And whenever they launched a very good blast from the point, he came up huge either with a blocker or glove save as well. So this team really did a good job at limiting the inside shots yesterday. They let Nagel see the shots coming and he made all the saves, just like you kind of grow accustomed to expect from a goaltender of his caliber at this point. That is a veteran that's been around. That's one of the ECHL's best. I mean, and said in my article about Winquist, this team picked up many great guys by Koff and Josh Winquist come to name. Um, but obviously Pat Nagel is right there in that cream of the crop of the three really stars that the Reading Royals picked up in the offseason and that is really helping their team thus season this far. So this team, again, took five out of six points from the Admirals. It wasn't pretty Wednesday, but not every hockey game is pretty. They didn't get outplayed. Like Dylan said <clears throat> on the post game. this is the only game this team lost in regulation was against Maine, and that's the only game they got outplayed the entire game. This Reading Royals team has not lost another regulation game. They're going to play the Growers next week as they look to jump above them. This is a team that's in a position to, next weekend, get into first place. And that's a very good spot to be this early on, especially particularly when you have Matthew Strom going up with the Phantoms. You, of course, have Pat Nagel, who's a star goaltender, but a guy that's been having to play every game because Usti's, of course... Um, up there um, with the Phantoms as well, even though Nagel won the starting job and everything, and he would be getting the time with how good he's playing. Obviously, you might be a little bit more content going to Usti to throw him into a game. Um, nothing against Hawkey, just he's an inexperienced goaltender that doesn't have time yet down there. So, I think his team is in a great position. They have one of the best goaltenders in the league. If Usti comes back down, you have a guy that was very good a couple years ago, and Hayden Hawkey just from looking at his career and watching it, um, watching his stats and reading them stuff about him, he seems like he's a solid netminder and somebody that can be a backup. He just, of course, like I said, doesn't have the experience yet, so you don't have anything to go off of, so you're going to roll with a star goaltender in the league. But it is a very fun season this far for the Reading Warriors. They took five out of six points from the Norfolk Admiral being able to get to OT Wednesday, have a great 5-2 to two win Friday, and then shut them out by being a way more physical team, a way more brute team, a way more aggressive team, forcing the Admirals into mistakes, and also just <clears throat> playing a very smart game while being able to be that physical force on the other end. Um, Braden Lowe was an absolute a menace for the other team yesterday, blocking shot. Shen had a very great block shot that he also got hurt on. Then you have Josh Winquist, who of course set the tempo early, who should be back for next weekend's games. He dislocated his thumb in the fight, so he should be back for next weekend's game. So you set the tempo early, and then you just never let up. That was a great win, probably the best honest 
win of the season as you got a shutout for Pat Nagel. Nagel played great. The team played great in front of him. And the Royals were able to take five out of six from the Norfolk Admirals this week. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Subscribe if you enjoy the content down below on the sub button or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Let's go, Royals. Let's keep it going next weekend. Peace out, everybody.